gotcha! Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Gotcha! Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. Um, excuse me. I'm wondering if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Greetings. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. Trudon, my friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome. You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. 
Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Shh! Be very, very quiet. I'm on the hunt. Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big, but I'll have you know I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs. And he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and well, invisible really. But sometimes... Ah! <laughs> They're also very, very jumpy. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. Wow! Hey! Hi! Welcome to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, hey, he's right behind us. Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. <laughs> Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I uh, uh, just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag, you're it. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, hi there. I'm an Abelothorus, one of the most ferocious of all the dinosaurs. Achoo! Excuse me. Anyway, I'm one of the fiercest of all the carnivores. That's a meat-eating dinosaur, even though you probably haven't heard of me. This is the late Cretaceous period, about 75 million years ago. By that point, a lot of dinosaurs had already established their reputations, like Tyrannosaurus rex, Triceratops, Allosaurus, you know, the really famous guys. It's harder for me to get noticed, but that's not because I'm not ferocious. I have a pretty wicked roar. Wanna hear it? <laughs> you have to pardon me. I've got a really, really bad cold. <laughs> One of the things that's unique about abelosauruses is that our heads are mostly empty. You see, our heads are really big with large holes all through it called fenestra, which is great for smelling things like <laughs> afternoon snacks. But it also means that my head is like one giant nasal cavity. And so when I get a cold, it's a whopper. 
We abelosauruses are found primarily in this part of what is now South America. I hate it when I get one of these colds, because there's only one thing you can do, and that's take my mom's advice. Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. I have to get well soon, because I want the whole world to know about Abelosaurus. Uh, uh, I'm okay! Oh, hi! Uh, oh, welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. I live in the land that is now known as Argentina! Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Jubaria. I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. ah. Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah, the only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. <laughs> eh, she likes it when I do that. Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Muda Borasaurus. Yeah, see you with me. Muda Borasaurus. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Murabura. The place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these cicade trees. But how's your honking? Bruce. He can honk louder than any Murabutasaurus around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk-off. A honk-off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. Not bad, but try this one. Good, that was a real good one. Uh-oh, we seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk-along? Great idea. See you next time. 